Hey guys, what's up? I just wanted to give you a brief update of what I said in the last video. Uh, talking about the equipments, I'm going to show you where I fought the Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 boss. I'll show you where I will be leveling and grinding out for EXP. This is going to be our first test of that long grind, getting from about 15 to about 44, 45 in the levels. So I'll show you what I'm using, and then uh, I'll show you what I used to kill Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 boss, and then I'll show you what I'm going to be changing in my team comp. So right here, uh, this is just what I had. Of course, we have FNC. Very, uh, very nice. Get free dupes of her. Scorpion got free dupes. Sten, I will get free dupes later down the road. I actually pulled a lot of Type 56 one, so I'm using her. Then I have not duped, or I have not dummy linked G41 just because I do not want to spend 15 cores. That is absurd this early on in the game. But this is the team I'm going to use to kill uh, the Chapter 1 and Chapter 2 boss. They are X2. They're just in their 20s. I don't think everybody's uh, max enhanced yet for their uh, base stats. This is the little formation that I'm going to go in there with. And then here's my second team. Uh, I was actually leveling someone else. I think it was Galil. But I pulled Ribby, so I was like, yo, I'm just going to level her just to have her. So that is awesome. This is going to be the comp and what this looks like. This comp will not be used. Um, they are way too low level. I'm not going in there. They don't have the right, uh, you know, they're not X2. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'm going to skip through the beginning part. I'm going to go to the boss, and then I'll show you that here in a second. All right, guys, just in case the boss trolls me, I do want to start it right here. She could walk up to me right now, or she could walk straight up. Thankfully, she goes straight down. Uh, I take the bottom route. It doesn't matter. It's going to be the same amount of moves, I believe. Uh, so let's go ahead and sh just show you the boss. Fight the boss. Um... Chapter 1, dude, <clears throat> this boss is very, like, you can breeze through this boss. Like, it definitely, like, does not matter at all. Uh, she doesn't even get a hit off. But the scaling in difficulty from the Chapter 1 boss to Chapter 2 is actually hilarious. Because, like, I thought, I was like, yo, my team, like, yo, we did some work. Like, hey, you know, she didn't even detect. Like, yo, okay, we lit. And then uh, <clears throat> I was like, I'm going to rush through Chapter 2. Uh, you know, I rushed through Chapter 2. Thankfully, I had those two squads, so I was able to make it out uh, much easier than the first time that I remember. Because first time that I did it, I had to use friends to, like, back me up and, like, stay there and, like, all that good stuff. But this time around, I have two squads uh, leveling up at the same time, so that was very, very nice. If you haven't done that, you'll definitely want to at least get them to 15. Uh, I'm probably going to say let's push them to 30 so we can get better logistics. But... Let me show you what the chapter 2 boss was like. I'll be right back with that fight. Wait a second. Oh, kill them! Okay. Okay. Come on, dude. Please. Y'all got this. Y'all got this. No. Wait a second. Wait a second. Do I not make this? Okay, so as you just saw, I got really lucky uh, the first time I killed the Chapter 2 boss because I had both my SMGs die, but in that clip that I just ran, uh, I actually died. Uh, of course, I like withdrew uh, in time, but uh, let's see if I can like kill her this time around because, hey, you know, I gotta take vengeance. So let's see what we can do. I am definitely under leveled uh, for this fight. By all means, uh, I should not be using uh, these characters right now. Uh, I should definitely wait till they're about 25, maybe even level 30. But this is definitely uh, pushing the limit way further than I need to uh, right now. Uh, so hopefully, hopefully. I can like win this time around. I'm evading really well on Sten, so that's really nice. Uh, let me switch this back. Okay, dude, okay. So look, you see the difference? Maybe I kited a little bit better, but I definitely did evade much, much more. So I got really lucky the first and third time killing the chapter two boss. Uh, I would probably wait till I'm about 25. But like I said, I really wanted to rush getting through this boss. And I would honestly rush going through chapter 3-3. Three three. 
so that way I could get another character. But I'm going to show you the character that I rushed through Chapter 2 just so I could get. Also, after you complete Chapter 2, you also open up the Chapter 3 logistics. And I'm going to show you those right now. The Chapter 3 logistics are extremely good because you have the second most uh, ammo per hour and rations per hour. The only problem with that is the rations is 225 per hour, but it's on a 20 minute cooldown, so it can be tedious. Uh, if you can't get to it, well, you know, that kind of sucks. But definitely this ammo right here, 200 per hour, is very, very, very nice. So these two are two logistics that I'm going to be running with my two passive squads that are just purely for logistics. Now, I've been saving this and now I'm going to go back and farm some more. Uh, but here are those dailies. Uh, produce uh, one equipment. And then you got to do three equipments for this one. So it's a total of four. Produce four equipments there. Uh, you know, just a little bit of dailies. But this is the character that I was going through Chapter 2. Just to bum rush. M4A1. <sighs> okay. So this is very, very nice. Now... No matter what type of team comp that you have, I would highly, highly recommend that you put M4A1 in your team comp. Uh, she's just going to be very good for us. Uh, do not get rid of her. Uh, just do, do not get rid of her. Level her up. Pay attention to her. She will get a mod down the road. So she's very, very good. But she, I think when I was leveling on my first account, I know I had FAL and I had SOP mod. But before I was leveling, I think, Sop Mod, I was actually using M4A1 to help kill and just corpse drag. So she was actually really good for me until I brought in Sop Mod. But I'm going to help. Uh, I'm going to make sure that we all avoid that. If I do not get a Grenadier, wh whether it be FAL, uh, 416, or G11, if I don't get one of those three units, I'm definitely going to corpse drag with M4A1. So she does have a lot of use. And I'm going to put her immediately into that leadership slot. So that way she gets the most EXP that she can get. One great thing about her is that she actually buffs other ARs. So that is very unique. I think she is one of two characters that has this type of uh, formation buff. I believe the other one is going to be Ribby. Oh, wrong one. I believe it's going to be Ribby, so she is the only other AR that buffs other ARs as of this recording. I'm sure that there must be others that maybe do it. I don't know. But this is how that we are going to roll for right now. So right now, uh, just for a quick recap for what we want to be doing, uh, we want to get two teams to level 30. That is our goal, so that way we can use other characters to run our logistics so i have a level 17 here and then i'm gonna turn around and let's say i put in a uh, homite just because i don't plan on leveling her uh anytime soon so now i have two people to run these logistics so right here if you look at the logistics it says leader level must be level 12 well guess what i have somebody that's 17 and then you need somebody that's level 15 in the leadership not in every slot just the leader so I have someone who's 19, so I'm going to be running both of these. Now, on specific days, uh, I showed you the data and what that's good for. On specific days, you can actually run the EXP data. This is going to be so, so super helpful early on in the beginning. I'll show you. I'll take you this through this very, very quickly. Now, one thing that you can notice is that everybody still has the damage that was taken. So make sure you always repair before going into the data one thing that uh, does not matter is the the ammo, ammunition and the rations. That doesn't matter at all. Uh, you get like infinite as long as you're in here. So let's go ahead and go through this. <coughs> Starting off at level 1 with M4A1, uh, we're just going to go through one run. I'll show you. Just very easy. You don't really have to do much. It's very, very simple. So you go through here, no damage is taken uh, that's going to stay forever. The damage that you do take will only last while you're in this little combat sim. Once you come out, my units will still be full health. It also does not take any resources. It only takes the combat sim away from you, that thing that you get, you know, one every two hours. That's the only thing that it's going to take away from you. Um, 
as far as that's concerned you know the level one is very easy but it gets you so many levels i cannot stress enough you just run this man whether you do the the beginner or whether you do the intermediate or even if you can do the advanced just run this it is so good to do now we're coming up on our last one uh the basic one is very easy i'll I'll probably make a little uh, video where I do the intermediate and the advanced one. Just kind of show you the route in which that I take when I do those. But other than that, this is it. Level one, literally level one, brand spanking new character. Then her EXP is going to skyrocket. Uh, we will take a quick look at that. Only one time. And she gets up to level nine. Yo, hey, starting off, we take that. One run, three mobs level nine i will take it so definitely she's going to be someone that i really want to level up now i want to show you very quickly uh the spots on our handy dandy notepad of where we're going to be leveling so as you can see here we do have uh from level 15 to 30 we go two three from 15 to 44 we'll take two one emergency then from 30 to 39, we can go 3-2, 39 to 45, 3-5, and then 45 to 75. Now, I only want to focus on points 2 through 5. So the first two spots, I'm not going to run them. I'm just going to show you the, the uh, pattern in which you're going to take and which you're going to go. So 2-3. This is the one that I'm going to be running. So what you'll want to do here is you want to actually... You want to get a level one handgun. It doesn't have to be useful. It can just be a, a random level one handgun. And the reason for that is, is that they take the least amount of resources to summon. So that way we're going to save on our resources as much as possible. So you put a level one handgun here. You'll set your main team that you're leveling up here. And then you'll get four uh, spots. Make sure you always resupply. So I will go on this on this node, I'm going to do the planning mode. I'll go one, two, three, four. Alternatively, you could just go one, two, three and call it a day. However, we do get four movement spaces. So I would like to take advantage of that and just take all four on that one. Now, again, going to the next place, we could also do two, one emergency. With two, one emergency, the thing is, is that this is going to be this same exact layout however these mobs are going to be a little bit tougher again we were going to do that level one handgun we're going to do our main squad that we're leveling and then we can go this way now what i am probably going to do is i'm going to hit level 30 on two three then at level 30 i'm going to dummy link my characters to x3 and then take them here uh to go from 30 to about 45 so now it would be that same thing. I go from planning mode from here. I go one, two, three, four, and call it a day there. Now I'm going to use my secondary account, or my main account, actually, because I do not have access to these. But in case you do kind of get bored of, let's say, doing 2-1-E, you can actually go to two other spots and then go to 4-3-E. I'll show you these on my main account, but I will not be using these stages because I would just prefer to just make it easy on the clicks and I'll show you what I mean. So from level 30, you can actually do 3-2. Now it says you start at the command and you kill two units and then you manually retreat. So what you're gonna do is you are going to place that level one handgun down here. Now, obviously I did not do this because it's my main account, don't really care, but you will place a level one handgun here the team that you're leveling up here or uh, actually on the command post then you'll go move up two spaces and then you're gonna go back down two spaces and then you will retreat this team and you'll confirm the retreat and then you will either restart the battle or you will terminate the mission depending on what you want to do uh, it will be easier to just hit that restart battle so that way you can just go right back into it and you're instantly farming but if you terminate that mission it'll take you back to the main screen and kind of make it a little bit slower. So that's going to be three dash two. I don't really like that because the manual retreating, I would rather just like, hey, end the turn and then, you know, I'm done with the map. So I'll show you three dash five as well. 
3-5, of course, we're going to want to have that level 1 handgun on the command post. And then we're going to take our team that we are actually leveling. We're going to do the same process. This time around, we have four moves. Now, we can actually go one of two routes. We can go one, two, three. And then we can hit the command post and we'll kill three people. However, I what I would do if I did decide, hey, I want to go run this map, I would go one, two, three, four. That way I'm using all my moves and then I'm getting as much EXP on the kills as possible. So this is the route that you would take when you are doing 3-5 leveling from level 39 to 45. Now, I probably will just do 2-1-E once I hit level 30, just because, I mean, hey, why not? It's just real quick, real easy. If you do get bored of that map, feel free to come over to this map and then hit level 45. The next video that I'll make is once I hit level 45. Uh, but please remember, when I get Sop Mod, I'm going to put her into my team and take another three-star character out. Um, I might make a little update video once I get to the Chapter 3 boss, kind of let y'all know what I'm doing. But 45 doing these maps is where we want to get to. I will see you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching. I'm hoping that this series is helping you in leveling through Girls Frontline. Thank you so much for watching. Much love, God bless, and peace out.